Okay, so, here we are. It's been a while, people. But I'm finally back on the stream. And, uh, I figured it, it was a really good time to boot it up, considering that we are piloting our completion corner for the podcast. It seemed like a good time to give Mass Effect a spin. So, uh, without further ado, let's kick it off. Very much looking forward to getting involved in this character Welcome creator. To Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Ooh, okay. <laughs> We're going for a custom character. Please wow, those eyes are really control. something. He looks uh, very alarmed. Jane. Um, first name. I I wasn't prepared to enter a name already. Um, we're going with Jillian. Jillian Shepherd. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Right. Right. Spacer sounds... Kind of... Cliché. Um, I'm gonna go with colonist. Confirm psychological profile. Mm. Soul Survivor does sound pretty badass. Boring. War hero sounds boring. Yeah, I think Soul Survivor sounds like the best one. Confirm military specialization. Now this is the real thing. Are we go in wizard or shoot. Wizard or shoot. Vanguard sounds cool. That sounds fun. Pistols, pistols and shotguns. Hmm. Biotic warriors, fuck it, sounds sick. Confirm facial identification. We're definitely doing something about that, though. Hmm, where's a good starting point? This is tough. going with that one as our starting point. Oh, I see. Okay. We don't have many facial structures here, do we?
This is what I really wanted. Oh no, you just pick things. Was this what it was like in the old game? I thought you got some... Uh, hit oh, you, you do get some sizes. Steph, I, I need her to look... Look at me. Come on, over here. Why are you looking over there? Good. Mouth down. Nice and wide. Lovely. That's yeah, we're, we're off to a good start. Let's get those lips pumped. Yes. Or, or thinned out. Ooh, thinned out is <laughs> quite interesting. High or low? High. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's get this neck thickness. Why is she looking over there? If I get her to look, look over this way. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, you right click. Okay. But yeah, well, can, can we just, what about just, you look normal. Normal, please. Is there a way to, that, I guess. That'll do, fine. This is where I was really getting into it. Very gaunt cheeks. It's not really... <clears throat> I feel like the mouth was a good start, but then we're kind of... struggling here a bit now. Have a look at these. Oh god, the eyes. So crazy. Why can't you be normal? That is weird. Whose eyes are like that? We might have to go for those. Okay. Mm, I think that's probably It's tough to make a Mass Effect character. Okay, let's have a look at makeup.
Lovely. God, I'm so torn between having to do this and having this for the rest of my game or not. Oh, let's do half style first. <laughs> Very nice. Blonde, can we go more blonde? Is that as blonde as we can go? Okay. Purple it is. I want pencils. No brow is kind of a look though. That's as close as we're getting. Kind of hard to make a monstrosity in this game, huh? Very pale. How are we doing? We're not looking too bad, we're looking pretty weird. Let's go back and take another look at this mouth. Ooh, that's pretty strong as well. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with that. God, it's really hard to make an abomination in this game. Okay, fine. We're happy with the eyes? I'm not sure. It's so hard to tell when she won't look at the camera. There you go, kind of. Those cheeks are so gone, I need to do something about them. You can't be so gone.
Why do they look like that? Okay, the cheek, cheek corners. All the way down. What does that do? It still looks weird. Because that's off. Okay, I think we're kind of getting to a good happy medium here. Take one last look at those eyes. I think that's a good... I think we're pretty much set. One last look at the makeup. Yeah, a bit more red to really bring out the paleness <laughs> of the rest of the complexion. Blue lipstick, eh? I think it might have to be blue. Are we happy with the hair? I think we're pretty happy with the hair, to be honest. Okay, we look like... Uh, I'm really not sh I'm really sure what we look like. An alien Emma Stone. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, let's get it. Identification confirmed. Let's stick ourselves on veteran difficulty. I think that, uh... Legendary mark. What's this? Okay, right, so Legendary Mo kind of expedites how quickly you get your levels then, it looks like. Okay, let's get it. Oh man, I'm excited for this. It's been a long time since I last played Mass Effect. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a coups. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Seth Green. We are That's connected. The name. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit.
the screen. Approach run has begun. Big space Thrusters, gun. Check navigation. Whoa, check. Joker Final looks kind of different. All systems online. Drift, just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. <laughs> I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Well, there we go. In all her glory, Jillian Shepard. How are we controlling her? Oh, okay, but let's, let's let's put away our guns. Not quite sure how to do that. On me. Or that. Okay, we've upgraded now. This is. How do I? Okay. Got more guns. Let's put away all of the guns. Oh, <laughs> controls are hard. Okay, let's just let's just do what I'm supposed to do. Looks very nice. He marks by like he was on a mission. These inspectors are always on a mission, and we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. How do I interact? <laughs> uh, controls. Nice, eh? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. <laughs> Just do your job, soldier. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay, you're oddly chipper on that last interaction. Okay, well, I'm gonna go see if I can speak to Joker now. Now that I know how to interact. The captain's waiting for you in the car. Oh, okay, commander. fine.
all the menus different and everything. I can't tell whether this is just because it's. Uh... I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? Everyone seems we'll really suspicious this, this mission we'll we're about to go on. For some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. This guy hasn't learned anything. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Well, I know hey, what I'm I, about to do. A good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Fifty Marines died there, Jenkins. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. <laughs> At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Okay. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Okay, if you say so, Doc. The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Well, I'm not in that much of a rush to get to the Captain. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. 
Everyone looks kind of weird from how I remember. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. They look younger, that's for sure. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, okay, this goes okay. beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that could be right. Will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Nobody okay. really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before it's we It's a peaceful them. farming world. Right, farming but it represents world. Okay, something much okay. bigger. It proved we were ready to face the challenge. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this... Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on... If we Prothean. hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, that was just a small data cache. What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Just give the word, Captain. Let's go! Close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Does not sound good. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at thirty eight point five. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? 
Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silas, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of the Turians, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are okay. approaching drop point two. See if we can change all these graphic settings a little bit. Oh, why does the video look wrong? Let's fix that right quick. There we go. Okay, they've all got stuff. Right. Is there a sprint? I'm sure there is a sprint in this game. Tell them where to go, fine. I tell one to go here and what yeah, alright, oh, I see. You go here, you go here. Okay, okay. Yeah, my face does look kinda of fucked up. I like it. Rip right through. 
his shields. We're out of chance. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, ma'am. Gel. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I don't know what these buttons are, god damn it. Sprint is spacebar, okay. Then next is the last one. Okay, right, fuck that. Okay, I think we're good to go. I've got a basic understanding of the controls now. Shooting it. Suck. All right, I see. I see. Oh, you take cover like that, right? Oh no, you just take cover. Okay. Interesting. God, the control scheme's a little odd. A little odd, I will say. Got some Betty Joe. Ah, a new squad mate, just in time. I just, my last guy just got killed. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. 
I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming. Created, they were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarian. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. What else do you know about Just the what Geth? I remember from history class back in school. They were supposed to be a source of cheap... Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. Beacon the knowledge, Beacon now! ...out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! Hmm, well, it's kind of interesting that she hasn't bumped into him yet. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. Let's have a look at the old squad then. <laughs> hmm, that looks good. Proton's more fun though. Excuse me. Ooh, dialogue options. Yep, let's put that on then. Intimidate, though. I think we want the intimidate options. Whoops, I didn't, didn't actually really mean to do that. Bolsters your shields, absorb up to it, will not block attacks that bypass shields. Oh, first aid sounds useful. Very good. Aiden's my healer then.
Yeah, let's give her overkill then. Okay. That's all we got. He's got one more. Let's give him. Uh, yeah, why not? More healing. Nice. I prefer it with our helmets off as well. That's good. Doing it, come on. Take over then. Oh, you yeah, have with your weapon now, eh? Okay. Get them to there we go. There we go. Shotgun. That's what I really wanted. Right then, Caden, let's try out your new. Uh... Wait. Where's your first aid power, Caden? Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. I don't think that's it, Caden. This works. Okay. Okay, that's better. All right, I see, I see. Oh, 
Ooh, wow, more points. Okay, all right, well, let's put that then. We'll do this all the way. Yes, okay, excellent. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep, keep going with throw, I think. Fairly even spread so far. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. It's where I came. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. I mean, is this where do I just stick this all on them now? I guess I do. This is heavy. Oh, medium, right? I see. I can only use light, can I? For now. Okay. Okay. What's Caden got? Is he? Can he? Oh, Ashley, could she do heavy? She can do heavy. Okay. That's pretty nice. stuff in it as well. Okay. Get a sentinel thing up as well so we can use that stuff more. Right, I see we have biotics. What's this though? This special one. He gets an omni tool, does he? And what do I get then? <laughs> a heavy weapon. Okay, cool. Oh, grenades. Right, I can throw grenades. Okay, and he gets an Omni tool. Okay.
to that door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Can I not just get Caden to do it? I can see there's someone in there. Excuse me, what? I see, I see. Fine, fine, fine. up in this shed we hid here during the attack they must have come here for the beacon luckily it wasn't here it was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning manuel and i stayed behind to pack up the camp when the attack came the marines held them off long enough for us to hide they gave their lives to save us no one is saved the age of humanity is ended <laughs> soon only ruin and corpses will remain I know they gave Andromeda a hard time for the facial animations, but <laughs> I don't know whether these have aged the best. Oh, thanks Lime Popsicle for the sub. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers! Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's yeah, that impossible. sounds like Nihilus. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Yeah, I heard, so I hear. Groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction <laughs> rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Well, I mean, I suppose I am supposed to be doing the uh, the rogue playthrough. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what did you do? Wow. That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. Amazing. Good old Bioware. Uh... Renegade, that was it, not Rogue. I guess I'll just take all of this for now. Mm. 
Saren. Oh, Saren's the dodgy one. Oh shit, he is Madness. looking dodgy as hell. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh dear. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. It's definitely the thing we saw earlier. So confused, I thought I could get my guy to do this. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Oh, intimidation. I'm only going to ask this once. I think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no, wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. <laughs> That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. Ooh, a combat sensor as well, eh? <laughs> Electronic skill too low. I can't get what's his name to do anything with it now. I guess not.
Okay, starting to get to grips with this now. I'd like to have the camera. I wish there was. I wonder if there's some camera options to pull out the camera more. Okay. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But... But I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? <laughs> a shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. <laughs> okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it <laughs> I like this, this intimidation tactic that I'm using here. They're working. The other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Double tap.
he who can do this? I think we did it. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Found another one, easy peasy. Oh, 
there was a timer for this. Very astute, Caden. Very astute indeed. Up or something. Ah, I just do that. Why can't I do that? I can't no weird. Okay, fine. Why can't I put guns on hotkeys? Also, if I take Omni Gel, does it heal all you guys? It does. Good to know. Let's go check out that beacon then, I guess. Time to win Blaze some alien knowledge into my brain. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. King Caden. Well, well, that was definitely Caden's fault. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson, 
they managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Okay. <laughs> Good shit, okay. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Not so great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. This guy's skin, it's so weirdly textured. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? Skin that is growing too fast. that textured should not be that shiny. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. 
This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ooh, and then there will be an empty seat. The council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Well, mission sort of complete for now. I think that's probably a pretty good place to pause things for today. And uh, looking forward to picking this up slightly later on in the week. But for now, I'll see you guys next time.